my name is Susan Boyle. I'm nearly 48, and that's just one side of me. I come from Blackburn near Bathgate, West Lothian. Currently unemployed, but still looking. I've been a carer for my mother, though, for two years, and I'm going to sing for you on Britain's Got Talent today. Britain's Got Talent is, I've seen it many times on the television, and I say to myself, I wouldn't mind doing that, it's like fun. And I'm a fun sort of person, so I thought I'd come and give it a go. Singing is a great release for me. It's a great release, and it's a great way of expressing yourself. Singing brings a lot to me. I mean, it's a sort of lifetime thing with me. You can't really gauge it, but without it, I don't think I'd be able to function properly. Music is my therapy. Music is my passion. If I got three yeses, it would be a very big thing. A very big thing. It's indescribable, really. Hello, man. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Not so bad. You sure? You had to think about it for a second. I know, I had. <laughs> <laughs> a little nervous. Yeah, sure, no. Yeah, well, that's, that's not surprising, yes, but, you know, try I've got a fighting mood, you know. What are you doing for us today? I'm going to do I Dreamed a Dream from Lunas at Abs. Hi, what's your name, darling? My name is Susan Boyle. OK, uh, Susan, and where are you from? I am from Blackburn, near Bathgate, West Lothian. It's a big town. It's a sort of collection of... It's a collection of... Uh, villages. I to think there. And how old are you, Susan? I am 47. <laughs> and that's just one side of me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's the dream? I, I'm trying to be a professional singer. And why hasn't it worked out so far, Susan? Well, I've never been given the chance before, but he's hoping it'll change. OK, and who would you like to be as successful as? Elaine Page. Elaine like Page. That. What are you going to sing tonight? I'm going to sing I Dreamed a Dream from the Miserables. OK. <laughs> Big song. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Yeah.
that's it. To that. To that. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Susan Pierce. Without a doubt, that was the biggest surprise I have had in three years on this show. When you stood there with that cheeky grin and said, I, I want to be like Elaine Page, everyone was laughing at you. No one is laughing now. That was stunning, an incredible performance. Amazing. I'm reeling from shock about you two, but. I am Can't so thrilled because I know that everybody was against you. I honestly think that we were all being very cynical and I think that's the biggest wake-up call ever. And I just want to say that it was a complete privilege listening to that. It was instant <laughs> brilliant. Susan, I knew the minute you walked <laughs> out... Oh, Simon! On that stage, <laughs> that we were going to hear something <laughs> extraordinary, and I was right. <laughs> Not a lot of touch. Susan, you are a little tiger, aren't you? Oh, I don't know about that. You are. I don't know about that. OK, moment of truth. Piers, yes or no? The biggest yes I have ever given anybody. <laughs> Amanda? Yes, definitely. Brilliant. Amanda, you too! Susan Boyle, you can go back to the village with your head held high. It's three S's. Just a little. Oh, I don't get half. <laughs> <laughs> what a voice. Incredible. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you feel? Bloody fantastic. <laughs> Pierce says that's the biggest yes he's ever given on the show. In, in three series. Yeah. Right? Oh, my God. Mind-blowing. Most extraordinary shock we've ever had. Just so emotional. Unbelievable and emotional. Fantastic. How are you feeling? Well, you tell me I'm dreaming. Because it feels as if I'm in a dream just now. But I'll tell you something, it's the best feeling out. This is phenomenal. Really good. Best thing ever happened to me. Okay. I take it three yeses. Oh, this... What can I say? Well, I can't believe I've waited so long because maybe I should have done it when I was younger, I don't know. But now? Now, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I can be what I want to be now, and it's really changed my life. Phenomenally. If the only act that we came to Glasgow to see was Susan, it was a journey worth taking, as Simon said. Thank God for Susan. You know, you know what? Glasgow was about Susan. Yeah. There are rare moments when you do this show where someone completely captures the audience. And that's what happened. She had the audience with her halfway through. And she saw it, the audience felt it and it was an incredible moment. I wasn't expecting it, I was kidding on the day. No one was expecting, she wasn't expecting it. This woman can sing. Susan Boyle was a phenomenon from a tiny village in the middle of Scotland. The audience have already started heckling her and she's got this confidence and a bit of bullshitness. I mean, she didn't creep onto stage. She came, she strutted onto stage. She knew what she was going to sound like. She knew that she would knock us for six. And when she opened her mouth and sang I Dreamed a Dream from Les Mis, we were floored. And the audience shut up and gave her a standing ovation because they recognised in her her own self-belief. And that self-belief is completely backed up by one of the best voices I've ever heard on a, on a stage. And, that, you know, I see a lot of shows in the West End. I mean, she is somebody that I would see in the actual finals and could go on to win this show. This is clearly a dream that she's had since she was five or six years old, and she's now recognising that dream 
and we could help her make that dream come true. And that is why I love this show, because for her, it's truly a life-changing moment. Well, YouTube is fairly new to me. Not only Tube, I knew just Tube of Smarties. I can't really say anything because I'm totally speechless. I'm totally speechless about it. This is like a whirl one. Lots of nice things have been happening. Lots of people have been coming up to me wishing me all the best. I'm going to try not to let them down. Well, Susan Boyle now is one of the most famous people on the planet. You couldn't have predicted that, you know, Susan who lived on her own with her cat in a little village in Scotland has now become the focus of all this attention all over the world. You just, you wouldn't have expected that. I don't think she's really got a clue as to the impact she's made, which is what's so charming about her. Where she is now compared to where she was when I first met her is extraordinary. That first sedation changed my life completely. It made me realise I had a great deal more to offer and that I could actually win people round. It was the, the best moment of my life. All my life I've, I've striven to prove how worthwhile I am as a person and I, that I do have a bit more to offer than people think I have. All my life I have felt like the sort of bored man out, the one who uh, is the underdog, if you like. She deserves to be in the final because she made me and everyone else look stupid. Because we doubted her, and I think everyone's doubted her all of her life. I don't think anyone's ever believed in her. I'm not sure she believed in herself. And finally, she's got a shot at being somebody, and she doesn't want it taken away from her. Ever since I was five, I've dreamt about performing a stage in front of an audience. I used to sing a lot when I was doing my household chores, but this is completely different when you're on stage when Britain's Got Talent. A complete contrast. It feels amazing. It's the best thing ever happened to me in my life. 
singing in the, the church and singing at home, I would never have believed that they could actually change and I could actually be a stage performer. It feels like I'm an ordinary person within an extraordinary experience. It's very humbling that people want to hear me sing. Up until now, it's been a kind of hidden dream. I haven't really had much of a chance. It's been so many years. When they were all laughing about it to begin with in Glasgow, I didn't think I'd be... I didn't really think I'd be in the final. In fact, I thought I'd actually be buzzed. <laughs> but when I opened my mouth to sing, oh, I won them round. This competition has shown me that anything is achievable if you really believe in it. The song I'm singing tonight describes the dream I've had for years, the fact that it can become a reality, the fact that it may become a reality, the exciting thought that if I put a bit of effort in tonight, that star in the distance may become nearer. My mother would be very proud of me just now. I promised my mother before she died that I would do something with my singing. To do well would be the fulfilment of that promise. It would be the fulfilment of my ambition and my mother would be really proud of me. I dreamed a dream in time of Time.